What's up everyone, John from Beyond AR TV. Let's talk about the two brand new singles by the alternative and, and lots of other different genres band, Gorillaz, an animated and also real life band. It's actually Damon Auburn of Blur and lots of other stuff fame. He's done lots of different projects and he's really honing in on Gorillaz right now. It's him and also animator cartoonist Jamie Hewlett. And they've really been hunkering down over the past year. You might remember that they just put out Humans in April of 2017. And despite the divided reception among fans, I was actually one of the defenders of that album. I was never really super into Gorillaz before that, but that album totally won me over. And I'm still more on the fence with some of their past works. I know it's a very unpopular opinion. This fan base is large and at times can be crazy, but at the same time, my opinion is my opinion. And I stand by the fact that Humans is a good album. But I was really interested to see what direction are they going to go in, especially after they released Sleeping Powder so quickly after Humans. That track was beautiful, kind of fantastic, and it really did fit the title, and I thought that maybe they would continue that direction, and I was right. They definitely have moved in more of a synthwave territory, synth-driven pop melodies, and it's something that's very, very beautiful upon the ears, to be quite honest. The first track that I'll talk about is the instrumental in what I think is going to be an interlude on the new album, The Now Now, which is coming out in just over a month, which is crazy to think we're already getting another Gorillaz record. But this one is called Lake Zurich, I do hope I'm pronouncing that right, and I love the bounciness and the smoothness of it. It just reminds me of like a warm 80s day, or a, a soundtrack to a film from the 80s, I guess I should say. I wasn't alive in the 80s, how would I know? The main track out of the two is Humility. That one's being pushed, I suppose, as the main single, and I'm not sure why they released Lake Zurich. It's cool that they did, I guess, but at the same time, it's just an instrumental cut, and it leaves me maybe wanting a little bit more of the album already, but Humility is a great choice for a single. This one is so smooth, just like a glass of lemonade going down, and I'm at the beach, I keep making comparisons, but I was gonna say, like, sitting on the beach with a glass of lemonade, it's going down smooth, I'm sorry, I'm at the beach, and you're not. Okay, John, reel it in, have some humility yourself, let's get back on track. The single itself, Humility, is very smooth, once again, like I said, and this one features the singer-songwriter and also guitarist, George Benson. I think his contribution to this isn't felt as heavily as some of the guests on Humans, but I'm more than okay with that because I want to see 2D, aka Auburn, in the spotlight. I want to hear 2D vocals, and we get that here, and I think he sounds great, especially on the hook when he's talking about resetting himself, starting over, and it's, a, once again, of course, typical 2D style where it's coming through a little bit of a filter, and I've always liked that effect with Gorillaz. Even if I don't always like the music, I like the fact that Auburn is able to make himself distinct between projects. He sounds a certain way on Blur, and this kind of divides the line between how he sounds with 2D. And the music video for this, it was actually pretty funny as well. I really like the ones that they did, especially on the last record, like um, Saturn's Bars. And here, we also have another one that's funny. It made me laugh because 2 ds going around Venice Beach and Jack Black is in the video playing guitar, just doing other crazy shenanigans. I will say, Murdoch's new haircut is total ass. It looks really, really bad. And now we have Russell, the drummer, the fictional drummer, I should say, stepping up to the plate. If Murdoch's gone, you've got Russell that's going to be there to bully poor little 2D. Overall, this track once again fits the vibe of, I think, what they're going for on this one, and it's just smooth synthwave perfection. I mean, maybe it's not their most standout track in the discography, but uh, I'm happy with it overall, and I've been liking this direction that Gorillaz have been going in. So for both of these songs, they're getting a 4 out of 5 for me personally. What do you guys think. Let me know your thoughts on either of them in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. If you would like to support what I do on this channel and my main channel ARTV as well, then click the top link in the description and you can donate on Patreon on a monthly basis. Whew. Okay everybody, please stop releasing music. I am trying to vacation here. This is hopefully the last video that I'm making other than SOS this week on Beyond. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out another Gorillaz review here, another recent video here. Socials in the description, and I'll see you soon on Beyond ARTV. Hey.